Okay, everybody, word in the street is that Michael second to none, the legendary middleweight boxer who was at his peak in the late 1980s has been released from incarceration. Now, this is what I'm hearing. Eastside Boxing reported on it yesterday. We also have Three Kings Boxing is the name of the other site that reported on it. So they're the only two people who I could find reporting on this. So I'm hoping that it's real. I'm not sure. I don't know what to trust these days. Let's go into it. I read it earlier. I'm going to look at it again real quick. As we know, Michael Nunn, the man who did his thing in the 1980s. Now, right before he got incarcerated, he really wanted that Roy Jones fight. He had success in the 80s, of course. He was a pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the late 1980s. Total destruction of Frank Tate, the one-punch knockout of Kalambe, the things that he did, it goes on and on, you know, um, lots of success in the ring, man. So right here, we're going into the article. It says he's finally released from prison. According to various reports, I read the news on Three Kings Boxing, former world middleweight champion Michael Nunn has this week been released from prison and is a free man again at home in Davenport. Here you see some comments. Of course, this guy here is saying what I've been saying. Michael was robbed of at least seven to eight years of his life by being over prosecuted. They let murderers and child molesters out earlier. Ridiculous. Yep. He was back there for a long time. He's in his mid 50s now. So you kind of wonder where Michael goes from here in his mid 50s i definitely don't want to see him in any more trouble don't want to see him go back of course being in his mid 50s he can't fight now when I mean, he's too late he's not going to get the roy jones fight now <laughs> a lot of shit has changed what he can do is he could work with some of these young fighters all right let's not forget Nunn's a very skilled fighter. He was. In his day, he was a skilled fighter. I think he could bring something to the table. He has a lot of real-life experience, too. He could probably steer somebody in the right direction. He's been out in the streets, all that kind of stuff. We just like to see Michael Nunn back in the mix, man, and, um, involved with the sport in some kind of way, whether it be training or whatever. There's got to be a place for Michael Nunn. Here goes Goosen. You know, all that money that he made for these guys like the Goosens and all of these people, I'm sure somebody got something for Michael Nunn. He made a lot of people rich. Somebody got to have something for Michael Nunn to do. Michael Nunn should be able to do for himself, though. He could live off of his name alone. He could come back on social media and open a fucking YouTube page and make tons of money that way. Who wouldn't want to talk to Michael Nunn in the boxing community, huh? Who wouldn't want to talk to him? So. He's got social media as an option already, okay? He could come back. He could open a YouTube, um, other um, forms of social media. Uh, there's a lot of shit he could do, man, all right? Come on, man. You still got a brand. You're still Michael second to none. Um, this is a new world that you're coming into. There's a lot of social media. Other people have getting, gotten paid off of you. It's time for you to come, um, you know, open a YouTube page, man. That's my advice to you. Ask whoever you know about social media. I'm telling you right now, uh, Michael's second to none. You'll make a lot of money if you could come back, talk boxing, um, help out fighters, um, contribute to the sport. The sport needs you. Good to hear that you out. I hope it's true. Um, here you go. Michael's second to none, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what's up. Let's see what's going on, on what Michael Nunn's going to do now. What y'all think? Put it in the comment section below. I'm out of here. Peace.